There are many unfortunate events in life that can cause bleeding injury. With small wounds, stopping the bleeding is quite simple. But when there is a major injury with heavy bleeding, what should you do? Colloquial emergency number immediately for professional medical assistance. When attend to a wound, the first thing you need to do is wash your hands and wear medical gloves if available. Quickly apply a clean cloth or cotton gauze to the wound for at least 20 minutes. Do not open to see if the bleeding has stopped or not. Pressure is the most important factor to stop bleeding. It is best to keep pressure on the wound until help arrives. In case the blood seeps through the cotton gauze, put another one on top. Do not remove the original layer. Have that patient lie down, in a comfortable position, and elevate the injury part above the heart to reduce blood pressure to this area. In case an object is embedded in the wound, do not attempt to remove it. Seal the wound by keeping pressure on the edge of the wound around the object. Use a cloth to wrap around the object, then use a bandage to compress it. Make sure not to apply direct pressure on the object. If pressure does not stop bleeding, use a tourniquet for major injuries to the limbs. The tourniquet must be tied 5 to 10 centimeters above the wound. Tighten the tourniquet until bleeding stops. Loosen the tourniquet only a few minutes every hour. In the absence of a professional tourniquet, use a cloth and a stick or pen to perform the tourniquet function. In case the wound is deep, or when it is not possible to use the tourniquet method, use wound packing method. Squeeze as much gauze as you can into the wound, then keep pressure on it until rescue arrives. If the bleeding has stopped, the wound can be cleaned and bandaged. Ensure the patient is attended ASAP by the emergency team.